Welcome to the stream. We're back with some uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley. It has been a while, and I'm excited to hop in because I have actually not been playing for a few weeks myself, so I'm happy to jump back in because uh, we've got the new update. I know for a fact we're getting new Toy Story characters. Um, I've heard rumors that Stitch is going to be in this too, and he's all over the art, so I'm hoping that's true as well. I don't know. I intentionally did not go look all of this up because I'm like, you know what? I just want to see what's there. What new piece of furniture we got? What new characters are there? And that's just, I just want to come in and just see what happens. So that's what I am excited for that. Nick, thank you. Hi, Brian. I'm an epileptic and watching your videos makes my day. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, Nick. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm always happy to spread some smiles whenever I can. You don't have the game, just want to see what the game is about? Well, to give you a brief overview of it, it's a life simulator. So if you've ever played a Sims game or Animal Crossing, particularly Animal Crossing, it's very much like that, but it's Disney characters. So you're making this whole valley. You can put anything wherever you want. You can do all that. You're helping villagers. And the whole thing is you're trying to get all the Disney characters into your valley. Right now, there was only 18 available in the game. And now we just got at least two more. Maybe Stitch. I'm not positive. But let me spin the wheel for you, Nick. Spin the wheel for you. Uh, ooh, and a hydrate. And a hydrate. So, yes. Also, new merch is here. We got the Brian Hall water bottle. You can get the retro t shirt. There's a lot of other cool things. I should pull out the backpack. I've got the backpack now. I have not shown y'all. Hang on. Let me get your backpack. There is now the lovely backpack. You can get that as well. It comes in a myriad of colors. Um, you got one major, one major place to put everything. Uh, you got a side pocket like a water bottle and then a pop pocket. So it's really cool. Uh, Junior Betancourt, thank you. It's like Animal Crossing, but with a story, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, I'm excited. Let's just let's just hop in here. Let's just hop in here. So I have done nothing in here today other than just I double check to make sure the update even happened. So I know for a fact that um, Woody and Buzz will be in there. But first, I want to go see if there's any new items at Scrooge's shop to see if we got. We've got, ah, we do have something new. I haven't had anything in the mannequin like window for a long time. So we got that for sure. Uh, number one fan of Ma Mateo. Thank you for becoming a holomaniac. Ooh, oh, this is new. It might just be new to me. Is this, is this new? Thank you for becoming a member. I don't know if that's like new to the game, but it's new to me. Oh, so is this. The Disney Nerd, thank you. Hello, Mr. Hull. La 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 la. <laughs> An aqua surprise! Oh my gosh! Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm pretty sure the rocket painting is new. I don't know if the gray zigzag tile wall is new, but it's new to me, so I'm taking it. I think I've got that coral wall thing. Do I have this? Good I don't think I do. Bye -bye now. Yeah, I don't know how much of this is actually new or it's just new to me. I know the clothing, that clothing in the window is new. Otherwise, it would have been here a long time ago. That's not new, I don't think. I just don't think I've had that one yet. Uh, I have that. Ooh, I do not have the lion. Oh, I want the lion. I hope that's new. If not, it's so cool. I think I've already got the L counter. Yeah, I have the L counter. Thank you kindly. Number one fan of Mateo, thank you. I thought I'll become a member every time you make a video. 
of Disney. It always makes me laugh. Oh, happy to hear. And wheel spin for you. Artemis 1700, thank you for re-becoming an epic Uh Ooh, Franken voice of your choice, number one fan of Matteo. Just let me know what Franken voice you want. Uh, so yeah, this is 100% new. Otherwise, I would have had nothing in here. So yeah, here we go. Space Ranger uniform. Let's see if I get anything new from that later. This is probably not new. I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't 100% know what's new. But I, some of this has to be new. Because I do not come through the shop and find this much new stuff that I don't already have. Love Brian's streams and can't wait for Christmas. Nice. Have you ever heard Ariel sing? If it's a lion, Brian must buy it, pretty much. And I ain't lion. Thank you kindly. Oh, look at the Christmas ears! Oh, that's gotta be new. That's gotta be new. The Disney nerd, thank you. So, what did you think of Strange World? You were incredibly underwhelmed. I don't know if I'd say I was underwhelmed. I it was fine I didn't think it was great but I thought it was fine and I do admit I had a really strong personal bias to like the family relationship between the, the particularly searcher and uh, Jaeger so that meant a lot to me personally so I admit I have some biasness towards that so I thought it was pretty good not amazing but pretty good Johan. Okay, Johan will come out in just a second. We got a few more to do. Uh, number one fan of Mateo wants Stitch. Oh, ta 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 Oh, look at Naga Krista! Oh, Orhana. Let's see if Stitch will join the Orhana. Um, oh, there's already a new quest from Merlin. That's new. Uh, Miss Art Rules, thank you. You know they already have holiday sweaters? I wouldn't put it past them at all. I wouldn't put it past them at all. Um, actually, let me go in here. Wait, not in this one. Uh, oh, Disney fact. While I'm pulling this up, let me think of a Disney fact. Um, a Disney fact. Let's go with Wally. Wally was so far into production, they were working on it while they were working on Finding Nemo. And scriptwriter um, Andrew Stanton, who ended up directing both films, distracted himself working on Finding Nemo by working on Wally because he was very excited about it. Oh, my. Look at that. <laughs> we got some fish. We have festive fish. That's hysterical. We have festive fish. Festive anglerfish, festive bass, festive fugu. You're going to be so hard to find, aren't you? Festive salmon, festive squid. Okay, that's all the festiveness, but that's still really cool. Do we have any festive critters? No. No festive critters. But that's hysterical. We have festive fish. Why do we have festive fish? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Oh, these are all new. Look at all these enchantments. I'm sure these are going to be all story related. So we'll see what happens with that. So Wally was like a 10 year project. Oh, yeah. Wally was in production for a long time. Um, oh, we got there. You can get a delicious gift, a handcrafted gift, a naughty gift, a shiny gift. Got lots of gifts. I'm um, trying to see if any of this looks new. Holly Snowman, I think we already had. Holiday Feast Plate and Cutlery. That's new. Holiday Feast Chair is new. Uh, a Kinara. That's new. Uh, a Menorah. That's new. We didn't have that before. Uh, a Photo Backdrop. That's new, too. Uh, Nikki MH. Thank you. Hi, Brian. I love all the impressions and your videos. New, new share the same... Uh, Share the same last name. I'd love to hear Pooh Bear. Merry Christmas. Oh, well, of course. Merry Christmas to you too, Nikki MH. Hope you have a very lovely holiday. <laughs> um, yeah, I think all of this. Uh, Snow Hut, I think, is new. Stitches Television. That's definitely new. That did not see. Tree of Holiday Cheer. That's new as well. Yeah, we got some new stuff. Here. Oh, a Yule Goat? What is a Yule Goat, and how do I get one? I need 50 wheat and two cotton. Oh, I could probably make that today. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we got some cool stuff. Um, Foraging. Oh, we have a new one. Red algae. Oh, 
red algae. Well, algae, algae. Some people say it both ways. I don't know how to say that. What's the correct term? Is it algae or algae? Because I've heard it said both ways. Oh, oh no. We have coffee now. That has to be for Stitch. There is no way we're getting coffee and it's not for Stitch. Because that line, no more coffee for you. Oh, yep. You can make coffee now. Uh, mocha. You have a latte. Come on. We'll have a latte. Come on. Uh, what other new foods do we have? Uh, boba tea. You can get boba tea now. Uh, coconut boba tea, fruit cake, gauze, uh, gooseberry boba tea, gingerbread house, hot cocoa. Oh, that's my drink of choice. Mint boba tea, Minnie's gingerbread cookies, raspberry boba tea, root beer. Well, I've had my game thinks I have not made root beer. I've made like five root beers. <sighs> it's annoying. Uh, and a Yule log. Okay. Logan, thank you. You were supposed to bring out Johan one more time in yesterday's stream, but you got too distracted with the game and forgot. I do remember that. I've finished the stream, and I'm like, ah, oh, I need to do that. But we've already got Johan once in this stream. So when I bring him out, I'll give him a double one for that. Uh, actually, no, a triple one now because we just spun him. <laughs> but I want to go I want to go in there as me. I want to go into the Toy Story world as me first, and then I can do that. Oh, we have a new gem now. We have Onyx. Nice. Uh, oh, Erica, thank you. Bruno Magical saying, I love you, Erica. Hey, this is Bruno here saying, I love you, Erica. Oh, do you think the family will let me back into the house now? The rats are, the rats are getting crazy in here. <laughs> All right. Um, clothing sets. We got some new stuff. Um, now, numbers-wise, I know we got some new stuff just because I looked the other day and I had less than 100 stuff. 100 items to go to finish up all of the clothing that's available and now i am there's a hundred over 100 left that i need to get so it's not going to show me all the new stuff but there's definitely some new stuff in here so we'll find that as we go i guess i can't look at all that here and furniture i don't remember it being over a thousand so yeah we definitely got new furniture too <laughs> all right uh quests uh merlin's got a new quest uh merlin has been held up in the library studying the vitals crystals that you found in the mines beneath the sunlit plateau now after days of fitful research he's ready to tell you about what he's uncovered Ooh, fancy and i still haven't done this one from scrooge just because i was just like i don't really want to do it because the whole thing is you just get <laughs> i don't really care about that one right now <laughs> um but minnie's gonna have a new one and wally's gonna have a new one and they are both wrapped around the uh buzz uh the toy story characters and then we have a new event uh it ends in 51 days wow we got the festive star path uh it's time to make yourself a cup of hot cocoa grab a cozy blanket to join the festive star path in disney dreamlight valley you can get your whole village into the spirit of the season with exclusive new items when decorations to turn your world into a winter wonderland and holiday outfits to look great but keeping warm I don't know. That's not all with the new styles for Mickey Mouse and Merlin. We're introducing even more ways for you to express yourself. Okay. So you can change the costumes of the characters? That's interesting. Thank you, Aqua, for becoming a member. <laughs> all right. The Disney Nerd. Thank you. Uh, so on your Disney tier list, which column would you put Encanto and Strange World? Encanto would go into A tier. Strange World would probably either go high C or low B. I'd probably put it... I'm leaning more towards a low B. That's probably what I'd say. But also love to hear some Tigger, please. <laughs> Merry Christmas to a Disney nerd. <laughs> All right. And another wheel spin for you. Uh, oh, Disney fact. We got to pick up another one. Um. Oh, uh... Mickey's Christmas Carol was one of the first appearances of Mickey after a, after a pretty long hiatus of over like 10 years, and that happened when the new guard came in. They really wanted a way to re-showcase Mickey Mouse, and they thought a good short would do that, and so they picked uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol, even though Mickey's not really in it that much. <laughs> All right, feel the joy of giving with the new Star Path duties, build a snowman, explore the chilly peaks of the Frosted Heights. So are they doing something different with the Frosted Peaks? Because there was really nothing much there before. Discover festive new recipes with all your Disney friends. Bundle up and get ready to explore and have a happy holiday in Dreamlight Valley. Ooh. All right, so what are our duties? We can remove Nightthorns. We're going to go ahead and unlock this. 
Uh, ooh, I can confirm and get 100. But that's going to be... Yeah, let's confirm and get 100. I got some extras. It's okay. So we do that, and I have 100. So cool. I can play around with some stuff right now. So what do we have? We get more dream light. <gasps> Look at the festive fox. Look at the festive fox. Hello. 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 Oh, Nick Hicks. I'm sorry. Yes, you, you received a wheel spin. Let me get that for you. Where did... Where was your... Wait, where was where was your request? I think that was it. Yeah, sorry if I skip one of them. I'm trying hard. I'm trying hard to <laughs> keep track. But as I said in the stream yesterday, I've been... Uh, I've been very scatterbrained the last couple days, so I'm doing my best. So if it happens, I'm very sorry. Okay. Okay, now we have festive critters. I take back my missed opportunity from earlier. Well, we have some festive critters uh, from other events, so I had a feeling they'd probably be here. All right. Um. So we have all these. All of these look really cool. What's this? That's like snowflakes for like stuff. There needs oh the festive holiday dress. I will look great on my character. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, yours was hydrate. That's right. Uh, okay, so we have... Oh, we have a wall, uh, Eve motif. You can get Grand Tree of Holiday Cheer. Nice. Pretty pile of gifts. <gasps> I love the Christmas Jumba! <laughs> I love the Christmas Jumba. Uh, ooh, that is a nice wreath. I like that. Right. No! No, I wasn't done. I pressed the wrong button. All right. Um, What's next? Um, oh, this is interesting. I, oh, that's... I like just the outline of uh, Pluto in all of the ornaments and stuff. Ooh, Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's a festive dinner table. I like that. Festive garland, ice mask, and then oh, festive holiday suit. There we go. That's that's what my guy needs. That's what my guy needs right there. Um, Festive windows. Ooh, wintering Mickey round motif. Hearth. Oh, I like that hearth. That hearth looks so warm and cozy. Please tell me that's an actual thing I can put in because it kind of looks like it's going to be like a, something you put on a shirt. Because these are all stuff you put on shirts. But if that's like an actual piece of furniture, yes. <gasps> oh, oh, you can have festive Merlin and he looks like Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, festive holiday vest. Nice. Oh, I'm loving these. I'm loving these. Oh, and then you get Mary Mickey. He looks like to be the last big one you can get. Okay, and we have a bunch of other motifs. And then, yeah, we get the extra tokens. Cool. All right. So I have my work cut out for me to try to go get all these. <laughs> we can go ahead and get some of them now. I can only get stuff in here. So let's go ahead and replenish myself on a few moonstones. Okay. Okay. I can still get the festive fox companion. And yes, he's about to start following us. Um, I still have 40. Um, let's do the festive wreath post. I like that one. Cool. All right. Oh, and I can still get one of these. Let's get Stitch tangled up in all the Christmas lights. So not bad. We have a nice start. And then uh, the collection will just be all that. Okay, cool. Alrighty, so there we go. We have that. Uh, we need to go in here and change the wardrobe because I want I want my new companion. Where is it? Where's my festive? Where's my festive fox? Festive fox, yes. Festive fox. Oh, and I should try to find some. Do I have any Christmas stuff yet? I don't think I do. Do I have Christmas stuff? Do I have winter holiday? Yeah, can I have like holidays down here? Style. Yeah, I don't see anything specifically for holiday from the filters at least. Let's see if I can find anything. Because I have a lot of this stuff. Pink jewel button up. 
Eh, I, I guess that looks kind of festive. I don't really like it, but it looks festive. Oh, that looks way more festive. And I, I don't know. I like the purple better. I like the purple better. I could totally go with that more as like a holiday thing. Yeah. Okay. And let's go for the pants. Get some holiday pants. Um, some black ones? No, I don't like that. It definitely no. Black sweatpants. <laughs> um, that's not terrible, but I want more color. Can I get? Do we have green pants? No, that looks weird. That looks weirder. Oh, that's it. Oh, that looks really weird. Oh, that looks super weird. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> uh, red sweats. No. Green pixel cam. No, it's camo. Look, I think we're just gonna have to go blue jeans for this. That's gonna be as festive as I can get right now. <laughs> they do look nice though. Okay, and then let's go for a hat. Do I have any festive? Well, that that's kind of festive, you know. You know, get kind of get a Scrooge thing going on, but not like Ebenezer Scrooge, but like a just that time period. You know, I could roll with that. Maybe like a nice jacket on there. Oh, or is the the gold one better? No, I like the red one better. No, like Santa hats or anything, huh? I don't think so. Well, we do the snowflake ears, but nah, not feeling that. We're gonna go with my first option, which was the top hat. I like that look. We're going for like a uh, old school. See if I put like a coat on there, like a you know like a leather jacket or not a leather jacket, but like a open blazer. Oh, look at that! I look so Christmassy. I need to probably take off the headphones, so. I could go with that. I could go with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Um, Where was the... Oh, I guess this is under neckwear, huh? Yeah. Yeah, no more headphones. There we go. That's, that's pretty festive. I mean, look at that. I ain't too shabby. I ain't too shabby. Oh, and I got some dream light. Yeah, like, see, if I did the other event, I would have just gotten more dream light. Look, I got 92,000 dream light. I don't think I need more right now. <laughs> okay. So let's go in here. Actually, no, before we do that, I want to go up to the Frosted Peaks and see what's going on there. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, go nuts with all this and then not be able to get too excited with all the Toy Story stuff. Okay. Let's see what lies for us at the frosted, frosted peaks. I forget what it's called. What have we got here? Is can we do something with this now? Because we haven't been able to. Well, everything kind of looks the same up here. I guess we can start doing stuff like that, but I guess I got to talk with Merlin first or something. Oh, but we do have more moonstones, so let's get those. Beep. But yeah, no thinking about it tomorrow, I'd probably put Strange World as a high C in the tier list. That's probably where I'd go, not a low B. Uh, Viper Chris, thank you for subbing. <gasps> oh, there's my festive fox. Come on, I'm going to name you Reginald. Come on, Reginald. Off we go. Off we go, making some holiday cheer now. <laughs> okay. Um, before we get too far into everything, I need to do Johan, because we have three of those backed up. We need to do some Johan. All right. Actually, no. I want to start. I want to start Toy Story, and then once we start Toy Story, I can go get him. Come on, Reginald. We must go to Toy Story, which I'm guessing is gonna be right up here. Um. What? There's nothing on that one. Oh, this one looks like it's got something. Yeah. Yep. Here it is. Here it is. Seven thousand oh. dreamlight. Hello. 
Behind this door, you will find friendly living toys. Only you can use your dream light to open this door. Yep. <laughs> Stupendous! You've unlocked the Toy Story realm. I tip my hat to you. Woo! It's a secret mission in uncharted space. Explore the Toy Story realm. Bye, Merlin. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Oh, wait. I forgot to do something. Oh, look at all this cool world. I like the fact we're the size of a toy. Okay, before we get too far, I need to go into my settings and do something. Um, I forgot to turn on stream-friendly mode for the audio. That's kind of important because I have a feeling we're about to have some friend and me stuff. You wish a festive fox would follow you around. If you get the game and you get the festive fox, you totally can. <gasps> Look at the origami elephant! I know everyone's going to run past that, but I'm like, oh, that's a good one. When I was in school, I would make origami elephants all the time. Like, it wasn't even funny. What is this? I, f I felt like it was supposed to be like a hidden Mickey. Are y'all hearing this music too? Are you having issues, game? Why are these things everywhere? Yeah, these are everywhere. Look at those. Do, do those mean something? Can I get rid of them? Can I go up this thing? Oh, I can. Buzz! Hi, Buzz! Hi, Buzz! Like. Okay, you sounded like something's off with you, too. Is this my game, or what? There's something really weird going on. I'm glad to see you. I'm afraid I'm in desperate need of assistance. Whoa, Buzz Lightyear! Oh. Wait a minute. You don't look like one of Bonnie's toys. I'm limited edition Brian Ashton figure! <laughs> Yes, available now in the Brian Hulk Teespring store. No, it's not. Don't believe me. Impressive. And look at all those points of articulation. Bonnie's parents must have bought you recently. Okay, so I'm not really a toy, but I'd like to help. My name's Brian. What do you need me to do? Well, I was in the middle of a very important rescue mission when suddenly there's a secret mission. It's a little... In uncharted space. Are your batteries dying? Uh, oh no. It's happening again. What's happening again? My batteries are depleting. I totally guessed it. And now my electronic features are acting up. My voice box keeps triggering. To infinity and beyond. And my laser won't stop firing off at random times. No need to worry though. It's just a light bulb. Say no more. Why don't you just stay here while I find some new batteries? There should be spare ones around the room. Check over by the closet. Yeah, or maybe near that door. This is an intergalactic emergency. Over by the... Over by the what? There's no time. Search the room for AA batteries and try not to... I protect the galaxy. Whatever you do, do not... Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! I appreciate that. Okay, so that's that's not my game. That's what he's supposed to be doing. For that part, at least. Ooh, can I walk on this? No, I cannot. So we're looking for double A batteries. Double A batteries. Oh, I see one. Come here, you. We just need two. Cool. I think the speakers in Bonnie's room need it too. I think it might be because I, I might have freaked out the game because I said put it into streaming mode after we already got here and it kind of doesn't know what to do and I like glitched it out, maybe. So it might behoove us to like leave and come right back. This music is gnarly and not in a good way. There we go. Let's try it again.
Uh, nope, not really. Oh, I gave it my best shot. What's going on with your music game? Is it supposed to sound like this? Doesn't want to give the items. No, the music is like that anyway. It's supposed to be that way. Hope these batteries work. There's light year to the rose. Something's still not right. Maybe if I fiddle with the switch on his back. Are you going to? Oh no! Are we gonna put him into demo mode? Oh no! I hope we don't put him in demo mode. The music is just to go with the batteries. Oh, okay. Thank you, Shugworth. I was say, y'all might want to relook at your new update. Okay. Uh, pull the switch to the left. Oh, that's uh, boy, we put him in Spanish mode. I'm not even gonna try to read that. Uh oh, that's not right. I'm not even gonna try to say that. I'm gonna. I'm going to totally insult everyone who speaks Spanish. Guess that was the wrong way. I'll switch him back. Phew, that's oh. better. You have my gratitude. Now that we've solved that problem, what were you trying to say to me before? Okay, right. <clears throat> Bonnie, the child whose room this is, has gone on vacation and her family left Woody and me behind on an important mission. Oh, Kayla, thank you. Hey, Brian, surgery went well. You're stone free. Yay! Congratulations, you're stone free. I'm so happy to hear that. <clears throat> but the mission... Well, let's just say it did not proceed according to plan. Woody got knocked out the window while on reconnaissance. Woody got knocked out the window? We gotta rescue him. Way ahead of you, my friend. But I like your enthusiasm. I tried to help him get back inside, but the window slammed down and locked. Unfortunately, the latch is too high to reach. I was in the middle of executing a rescue mission when my battery started to act up. Rescue mission? What were you planning? Yeah. You see that race... You see the race car tracks all around the room? Well, I was planning to build the track and launch a toy car at the latch on the window. Uh. If it's hit at the precise right angle, it'll unlock and Woody can get back uh. inside. There are just a few parts of the track left to put together. Uh. Would you care to assist me? Time to fly. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Start by finding the rest of the pieces of the track. Uh, well, yeah, if you uh -huh. could bring them back once you bring them bring them back to me once you've got them all, we can finish it together. Kim, 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 Kim. All right. Um, search the room for pieces of the car race track. Yeah, I think it's just fixing that bit over there. And yeah, where is it supposed to start? Let's see here. Oh, here's one. I will take you. Oh, there's ten pieces of this. Oh, they gotta be everywhere then. Yep, there's one there. Was there one right there, back there? Oh, I guess. Oh, that is part of the track. Oh, okay. Can I get under the bed? Nope. Is there one back there? Best buzz impression ever. Really? I didn't think that one was very good. Unless you're saying that ironically. <laughs> it's a secret mission in uncharted space. Ooh. We found a chest. How do you get rid of a cluster of mushrooms that are in a group? You have to upgrade your watering can to get rid of them. And you can do that through doing a couple missions. And I believe they mostly deal with Merlin. I think that one might have to also do with uh, Mother Gothel. It's been a while since I've unlocked that one. But yes, you can get those done. Uh, but yeah, I think you get that with Merlin. Uh, I think Merlin gives it to you, but I think it starts with Mother Gothel, one of her missions. Oh, there's another chest. We got another piece. There's a little penguin. It reminds me of Wheezy. Okay. What I get? Ooh. No, wrong button. See, I'm not used to all the buttons anymore. What we get? Woo! Ooh, metal spike fence base. Nice. Get that. Get that. All right. Uh, missing one. Oh, there it is. With another chest. Well, they hit a lot of chests in here. 
Bonnie, clean up your room. It'd be so much easier to walk around in here if you cleaned up your room. All right. Okay. I've already had these. Why are you saying these are new? I have the anemones. I don't have any enemies, though. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, that was a really bad dad joke. All right. There we go. Here you go, Buzz. Hello. Looks like you found all the pieces of the track. Good work. Now let's finish building it together. Now we're right. You did it. All the pieces of the racetrack are in place. But some of them aren't at the right height. What are we supposed to do now? Hmm. Let me think. I got it. We'll use the local vegetation to help us. Vegetation? Like plants? Yeah. <laughs> Just hearing Buzz go, yeah. <laughs> when I said that. Precisely. There are some magic growing cactuses scattered throughout the room. Magic growing cactuses. What are those? <laughs> Well, don't let the name fool you. They're not really magic, but they're quite a feat of engineering. <laughs> they're small toy cactuses that Bonnie received as a gift. When you add water, they grow. When you place them under the race car tracks, add a little liquid. They'll grow and lift up the race car tracks. Great plan. Yeah. Exactly. You certainly have a knack for this kind of thing, <laughs> my friend. However, there's one problem. The water. I'm not exactly a fully waterproof toy. Don't worry, my trusting watering can can take care of that. Excellent. Then let's find those magic growing cactuses so we can rescue my friend. I appreciate the help. I appreciate you, Space Ranger. All right. Um, now we got to find the cactuses. Were those there before? I don't remember. I would think I would have noticed seeing a cactus. And there's five of them? Are these... No, they're not magic growing cactuses. Are you a magic growing cactus? No, you are not. Oh, oh, these are. Oh, I've seen those. Oh. See, they don't even look like cactuses. They just look like little discs. I see, I see. Oh, there's one. They're all different colors, which makes it a little different. So each Disney door is a different realm. Yes! So you can see just how many updates they're planning for this game. This is one I think they want to go on for a long time. I think I saw another green one back here. Yes. Oh, I thought that was that. Chia Chia Pet. Is there a Chia Pet? Oh, place them. Oh, yeah. So we'll add one of these. Does it really matter what color? Allison, thank you. Love your channel. This game is amazing. Please do Bat Poo's voice. Well, while we're in Andy's room, or Bonnie's room, we need to make sure we are protecting all of the honey. And I will tell that to Buzz, too. To infinity and the honey. Okay. Um, and one more. Kill. There. Water the magic growing cactuses under the race car tracks. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, there's my water. Yeah, there it is. So, beep, beep, beep. Whoa. Okay. Yep. That's a cactus. All right. That's interesting. Okay. That'll work. And last but not least. Alright, we're actually gonna see this thing go now. That's kinda cool. That's a I wouldn't have thought that that's how we did all this, but yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, I got step. Greetings. I am Buzz Lightyear. Do you have a status report? The track is in place and at the right elevation, sir! Excellent work. There's just one thing left to do. Take this toy car. Where'd he pull that out of? Did he pull that out of his neck? Did y'all see that? Where'd it come from? Climb that ladder and push it along the track. With enough momentum, we should be able to unlock that window and save Woody. Roger that. Roger that. Okay, where's the... 
Where's the start? Oh, I'm guessing that's the end. Uh, where's the start then? Is that the start? Where's the start? Can I maybe do it this way? No, where is the start? Is this a start? Go to the ladder near the toy of Oh! Kayla, thank you. I so appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Mind saying hi to me as Jimmy the Elephant. I just adore his cool Australian accent. I guess this is his official voice now. I guess this is his official voice because so many people love it now. Hi there, Kayla. Just want to say thank you for being awesome. And look at that car go. Hope you get to feeling better soon, Kayla, with recovery. I'm glad that all went according to plan. You're awesome. Just remember that. All right. Did we get him? <gasps> There's the Woody. Wait, how do I get to him? How do I get to you? Oh, that makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Woody! Thanks for stopping by. Howdy, partner. You must be Brian. Sorry, my Tom Hanks is terrible. Guess I got to thank you for helping Buzz unlock the window. Whatever it takes to have a toy in need. And I certainly appreciate it. My, I'm sorry, my Tom Hanks is terrible. <laughs> Buzz said he got knocked out of the window on some kind of mission. What were you doing? Well, Bonnie's family's off on a vacation, and she left us behind to take care of something for her. She wants to put on a play when she gets back. A play? What sort of play? With Bonnie's imagination, you never know. But she's... I really gotta stop. But she made a little... Fo Farm out of pipe cleaners and ice pop sticks. And then she made a whole bunch of animals for it out of construction paper. Oh, that's so creative. That's our uh -huh. Bonnie. She's a real creative kid. But wait, where's the farm? <laughs> well, uh, Bonnie's farm got knocked over. And it broke. Pieces of it scattered all over the room. Is that the elephants that I saw? Did you knock it over? What? No. <laughs> His face! <laughs> Those reactions. You guys actually like the Tom Hanks impression? <laughs> oh my goodness. Buzz knocked it over. <laughs> Buzz knocked it over when his wings popped out. And sure, maybe it happened to bump into him and accidentally... I may have accidentally... I may... <laughs> Maybe I happened to bump into him and accidentally push the swing button, but that doesn't matter now. What matters is Buzz and I decided to rebuild Bonnie's farm just how she left it. I want to help. That's great. And we could really use some help right about now. Uh, I think I might have some leaves stuck under my hat. Why don't you talk to Buzz and he'll brief you on the rest of the plan. So long, partner. Okay. ATM, thank you. Dracula, happy Erica got home for Christmas. Ever seen Eight Crazy Nights by Adam Sandler? No, I have not. Um, Erica, you made it home for Christmas. I am so excited. And so is Maybe Wavy. Maybe Wavy, she is here. We can start the Christmas celebration now. So, yeah. Okay. Hey there. Woody filled me in on the situation. How are we going to put Bonnie's farm back together again? Well, I've been thinking. Bonnie made special blueprints that show exactly how she wanted it to look. They're still taped up around the room. Hmm, you mean all those drawings on the walls? The ones on the color construction paper? <laughs> Impressive observational skills, Brian. There's just one problem. Some of them are hard to reach. Woody got himself knocked out the window trying to get them all. Hmm, I could take pictures of all the drawings with my camera. Excellent idea. We'll look then we'll look at the drawings and recreate the farm exactly the way Bonnie wants. Using all the tools at your disposal, huh? Now that's thinking like a space ranger. Just let me know as soon as you have pictures of all the drawings. Mission accomplished. Okay. Um Yeah, I think this is probably gonna be a good time to bring out Johan, and he's gonna come out for three three sessions worth because of all the wheel spins. Let me go ahead and get that set up. So that'll be nine minutes of pure Johan. <laughs> All right, let me go get Johan. Johan, you're up, bud. Woo! 
Hello, everyone. It is Johan, yeah? Okay, and Johan will be here for the next uh, nine minutes now, yeah? Okay, so we must go look for the pictures around the room that will show. Okay. Oh, the elephants and the penguins are part of the thing. Okay, I get it. They are part of the thing. So let's, uh, let's take the picture. Can I can do this? No, no, not like that. Wait. Wait, no. Ah, uh, hang on. One second. I need to remember all of these things. Uh, oh. No. Okay. Can I get closer, yeah? Let's get closer. I think this will help us better. Thank you, Dan Dan the Madman Wilson and SSJ Fan two two. Five. Thank you. Okay. Now let's, uh... Yeah, let's do that. No. Let's take the picture. Take the picture. Take it. Take it. Take it. But why are you not taking the picture? Yeah. Oh, I have to press the right button. There we go. So that works. Okay, so we got that one. Let's see, where is the other one? Where is the other one, yeah? Um, for these, in your closet? Oh, see, there are four. There are four of these. Um, and doesn't look like any of those. Let's see, what about... Uh, oh, 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 that's one. That has to be one, yeah? And... Capture! Oh! Your hand got in the way! No hand! There we go. Okay. Okay, that was one. We need two more. Two more. Hi, your hand. Hello, Kayla! Congratulations, I'm glad everything went right with your surgery, huh? Okay, here's another one. We take the picture. We do the picture. Yeah! There the gods have brought it to three. Yes! Only one more. That is not a drawing. Is it one of these? I don't think so, but maybe? Hmm. I'm trying to see. I have a feeling it's one of these. So we will just take this picture with uh, all of them and uh, see what we get. Or at least these two. Ah, hand down. Thank you. Is that it? No. Is it the purple one? Stop it! There we go. No, none of those were. Um, there's that one in the closet, you say, huh? It's not one of those. It's just pieces of the other toys. Maybe. Would it be in the closet, yeah? It might be in the closet. Let us see. Uh, oh, 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 I see it. I see it. Ah, hand down. There we go. Apparently her farm is covered with elephants and penguins. That's not what I would consider farming animals, Bonnie. But I like them better than the farming animals, so that's fine with me. Okay. Pretty. I am Buzz Lightyear. Excellent surveillance work, Brian. Now we can recreate Bonnie's farm exactly how she wants it, yeah? Let's see. Ah, uh, yep, Bonnie has big dreams for this little settlement. Her drawings are quite detailed, of course. We would add, uh, no, it would never work. Uh, what wouldn't work? 
I was just thinking, we could improve on this design, but we need materials we won't find here in Bonnie's room. Some flowers, perhaps an adhesive bonding agent. I think I know where you could find all that. Come with me to Dreamlight Valley. Dreamlight Valley? Is that some sort of expensive playset? Or a themed family eatery like Pizza Planet? Uh, no, Dreamlight Valley is... Hey. A place where toys never get put in the attic? The most amazing village in the whole... Oh, we're going with the last one. Really? Well, if you think that it will have the materials we need to help Bonnie, then I suppose I have to visit. Go on a recon mission. Just wait here. I'll get a special command ship set up for you in the village. A real command ship. A real ship? Like, is the animated short films Bonnie watches? Will it have a hyperdrive? A hyperactive hyperdrive from the movie. Yeah. Then I can't wait to see it. Shall we meet again? Okay, so we place Buzz's RV in the Dreamlight Valley. He has an RV. Let's go. Does anyone know how to get clay? Yes, to get clay you dig. And specifically if you dig in certain areas, I know Sunlit Valley has a lot. You can get some clay in uh, the... Uh, the swamp land, I can't think of what it's called right now. The Glade, the Glade of Trust, I think is what it is. And also, um, when you get far enough in the Scar one, you can get rid of all of the bones. Oh, there are the, there are these. Let's get rid of those. Uh, when you get rid, when you can get rid of the Wildebeest bones, each Wildebeest bone you get rid of, you can get some clay. So that'll be a good way to stock up on a lot really fast if you can get to that one, if you haven't done it yet. Oh, it is the coin one. Get all the coins. Come on, come on. Oh, took a little detour on that one, but we got it. Very nice. Okay. Oh, we have another one over here. Okay. And we will get you. And uh, you. And uh, you. So ready to finally be rid of the bones. Oh, I wish you there's bones, but they are annoying, yeah? So annoying. Okay, I think we cleared them all out. Okay, but yeah, you can get some clay here. Hold up, does that coin counter say 3 million? Yes, I have... Well, Brian has 3 million coins. Yes, everybody wonders how Brian gets us the coins. It is from his pumpkin farm. He can get like almost a million coins per farming. So yeah, this is my this is his pumpkin farm. He has not watered them. He wants the rain to do it because he has enough money. He just kind of wants the rain to water him. He doesn't want to do it himself. He's getting lazy. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh. Do you hear the little jingle jingle of the fox? Like, come here, fox. Come here. Did you hear the jingle jingle? The little jingle jingle loves the fox. <laughs> okay, I will go get Brian again. Okay, Brian. Alrighty. All right, so let's figure out where we're going to put Buzz. Um, I don't really know, because right now I have it set up to where most of my villagers are down here. So I have my nice little neighborhood here. Buzz could go right here, or that might be a little too, might make everything a little too congested over here. So maybe we can start expanding out into here a little bit. Depends on how much uh, room this is going to take up. 
How big is Buzz's RV going to be? Oh, that's not big. It's not too big at all. In fact, that might not actually be too bad over here. Because it's little. Yeah, I kind of like that. No, I definitely don't want that there. I want Buzz and Woody to be kind of close to each other. So yeah, I, I like giving them this area. Dr. Strange, thank you for becoming a member. And the Gaming Ham. Thank you for becoming a member. Yeah, let's get rid of these. And Julia Price. Uh, or I could put him up there with me. Like, I still have this other part. Okay, oh, Catherine, thank you. And Maddie, we got one more after this one. Maddie, thank you. I could move the pool and we could put them both here. That's not a bad idea. Devoted to Disney. Thank you for becoming a member. Okay. 4 p.m. renewal. Does that happen like every four o'clock? Is that is that is that why it always does that in groups? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let y'all decide. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let y'all decide. We're gonna make a poll. We're gonna make a poll. Um, but start a poll. Hang on. Where do Buzz? And Woody, go. Oh, wow. <laughs> I accidentally hit caps lock, but we're going to keep that. Meadow or by Brian's house. All right. So the poll has been started. Do you guys want them to go in the meadow, which would be either in here with the rest of everybody, but probably not. I'll probably clear out this space and then go over here next to this lovely water feature. Or they would go up in the top part with me. They would go up here. Like I'd move the pool somewhere else and they would go right here. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Oh, oh, most people are saying by my house. I was not expecting that. I thought most people would say the meadow. Okay, it's looking like that's probably gonna. Oh, 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 meadow, meadow just went fast. Got uh, like 10% of the vote just come in. Do I need my batteries replaced? No. I accidentally hit capsule lock. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. It's almost 50 50 oh, now. Yeah, we've got to talk. We will in a second, Merlin. I haven't heard that audio, though. That's new. Or at least I haven't heard it. Oh, no. By my house has gone up. Come on, y'all. I want him in the meadow. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's just like, you know where you, uh, you don't realize where you want him until someone gives you two options. And then it's just like, no, I like the other option better. I like the meadow better, but I will totally do this. If that's what y'all vote, which it looks like is what y'all are going to pick. So let me clear all this out and then I'll move the, I'll get rid of the pool. I'll put the pool somewhere else. Because I wasn't really sold on what to do with this other half of my uh, other half up here. Yeah. But I tell you guys this. If more characters come in that I like better, like if we get like Simba or Timon and Pumbaa, they are going up by my house. And Buzz and Woody are going to kick out so going somewhere else. Just letting y'all know. Joshua, thank you. Stitches in the game. Oh, I hope so. All right, yep, 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 yep. It looks like we have our answer. Y'all want him up here. That's fine with me. We'll move that and we'll put Buzz over here. Yeah, his isn't very big. Y'all tell me Woody's is bigger. Let's put him like right here. I can, I can move him around later. But for right now, that's a, that's not a bad place. We'll start there. We'll meander around and see what we want to do. Okay, but yeah, poll has ended. This one. So there we go. Okay. 
You heard Toy Story could be going to Netflix? I wouldn't put money on that. Disney's got it on Disney Plus. I really doubt they'd let that go. But I've seen weirder things happen. Ah, Brian, how can I help you today? Buzz Lightyear's coming to our village on a top secret mission. She needs a special mobile command center. A mobile command center, eh? Well, I think I got just the thing. If you're willing to pay me a reasonable price for it, that is. Use 10,000? Oh, okay. I must say I'm looking forward to having a wee lad back to the village. After all, beneath all that molded plastic piece of heart of an adventurer. Just like me. All right, here we go. Oh, he's got a little RV. <laughs> Hope you have a bull market day. Welcome, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, he's in the valley now? Yay! Yeah. Oh, I love that he's toy-sized! <laughs> also, uh, Johan said you're lazy because of the pumpkin farm in the rain. Eh, I don't want to waste my time going through and doing all that when I can just do that. How do I get into... Yeah, crouch. Oh, I was crouching. I like that pose. That's a good one. Thank you, Shugworth. How long did it take you to do all the pathing? Um, some of it took a while. Some of it wasn't bad. The one in here took forever, especially because I had to work around different obstacles and stuff. Like, I wanted to make this look better without all the grass around it, but I had a hard time with that. And this one didn't take too long, obviously, because it's still not technically done. But I also didn't know what I wanted to do with this. Wait, where's Buzz? Buzz was just here. Buzz, where did you go? Oh, there you are. It's like, you're so little. Come back, Buzz. Hey there. So this is... <gasps> Why are you enormous? <laughs> I'm not enormous. You're toy-sized. Yes, because I'm a... Uh -huh. Wait. If you're not a toy, I break you tool rule number one. <laughs> I was supposed to drop to the ground and pretend to be inanimate. <laughs> I don't think toys need to do that in Dreamlight Valley. The line between... Well, the line between what's a toy and what's not a toy, and what's real and what's pretend, well, it's all a little fuzzy here. Uh. Hmm. Well, uh... I guess I'll have to take your word for it. You know, it's the strangest thing. Now that I'm here, this valley seems familiar. Yeah. Woody and I, we've been here before, haven't uh -huh. we? This place, it was a place where no toy went unloved and everyone had a purpose. Don't worry, all your memories should start to come back soon. Mm -hmm. I hope so. This is unsettling. <laughs> for now, I'll do some surveillance and see if I can get reacquainted. Great, I'll go see if go see Woody and we'll keep working on Excellent. Bonnie's farm okay so we got Buzz in here let's go get Woody that's right I'm now you're my favorite deputy just gonna come right and say it love you Brian as well as chat this community has been awesome having my back during the whole kidney stone thing I really appreciate the support I really do oh that's so sweet we appreciate you too Kayla all right, let's get Woody in here. Let's get Woody in here. Where is he? There he is. Thanks for stopping by. All right, Brian, if we're going to rebuild Bonnie's farm and just how she left it, we need to start by building a corral where all the cattle can live. There's lots of supplies we can use scattered around the room. I've got to stop. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to find everything we need here. Don't worry, I sent Buzz on a recon mission. He's going to help us find everything. Smart thinking. You sure are making yourself useful. Keep this up, and I'll bet you'll be one of Bonnie's favorite toys in no time. I mean, obviously she loved me. I'm so lifelike. <laughs> but I don't have a cool pool. <laughs> We're going to do that one. And you've got all those cool accessories. I bet they're sold separately, huh? You could say that. Yep, courtesy of Mr. McDuck. Mr. McWho? Uh, forget it. Just tell me what we need to fix Bonnie's farm. Uh... Well, you start by gathering up some of the pipe cleaners and ice pop sticks scattered around the room. Great, I'll go mm -hmm. gather those. Oh, and watch out. They seem to be stuck to some candy, and there's a lot of paper on the floor, too. Don't worry, my trusty pickaxe and shovel should take care oh, of that. Yeah. Great. Once you got everything, bring it back to me. In the meantime, I'll start trying to figure out how to put it all together. So Okie dokes. All right, we need eight ice pop sticks and five pipe cleaners. Okay. So, I guess we shovel this? Oh. Oh, I 
say, and these are the uh, and this is what I use the pickaxe on. I got it. I got it. I'm getting smart now. So this does have something to do with stuff. Thought these looked like they should be usable. Okay. Ooh. Got me some popsicle sticks. I'm gonna go build a tower in my popsicle stick. Boom. I stole it from the lollipop. Uh, nope, nothing back here. I thought there was one more over here. Or I dreamed it. I dreamed it. Who else leaves a mess in their room? I mean, I don't leave a mess on the floor, but I leave a mess like on all of my tabletops and stuff. So like my dressers and junk have crud all over them, but my floor is very, very clean. <laughs> Just because I don't want to trip around stuff in the middle of the night. But yeah, getting stuff off a counter or something at night is a bad idea. Am I the only one who does that? Okay. Okay. There we go. And then we will break the candor. Gimme. All right, we only got one more pipe cleaner and one more popsicle stick in there. Both right here. Popsicle sticks and a pipe cleaner. Ah, oh, bam. Cool. Alrighty. Super Wayne Wallace, the best magical villain eater. Thank you. Hi, Brian. What do you want for Christmas? Honestly, I don't know. My parents keep asking me, and I'm like, I don't really want anything for Christmas, to be totally honest. <laughs> I feel very content with what I have. <laughs> okay, Woody's very excited. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to see this you. looks great. Thanks for wrangling all that. But we're still going to need a couple more things to rebuild Bonnie's farm. What do we need? Well, Bonnie drew these yellow daisies above the farm. Just leave those to me. I'll find yellow daisies in okay. my village. Sounds good, partner. But we'll also need something to hold it together. Uh... String? I'm afraid the only string around here is my pulse string, and I'm kind of attached to it. Uh -huh. Not since Toy Story 4. <laughs> Hold on, did you say you sent Buzz on a recon mission? Maybe he's found something we can use. Good idea. I'll go talk to Buzz in my village. Okay, then bring everything back to me, and I'll start putting it together. Okay, Woody, you got to calm down. You're going to fall off to bed. Uh, Yellow daisies. Do I have any daisies with me? I have dandelions, not daisies. It's like, I thought I grabbed a bunch of flowers right before we left. You'll receive a Christmas present from us, except I don't know what to give you. Y'all don't gotta give me nothing. Y'all just come in to watch the streams and being involved is a present enough. Uh, Sexy Rocker 20, thank you for subscribing. When I think about it, an RV would probably look really good down by Wally. I think I might move him down there. I don't know. We'll see. He's lowering my property values. <laughs> look at my house and all of its splendor. He's bringing down a neighborhood. <laughs> okay, I think I saw Buzz go in here. I want to go into his RV. Whoa, this is a weirdly space. No, don't walk out. I want to look. Game? That's not what I wanted. Oh, there's Buzz. Hang on, I want to look. Miss Art Rules, thank you. What's my biggest regret in life? Uh, that's a tough question. Um, You know what? I would have said a few things a few years ago. But in hindsight... I don't really regret those things because they led to some, they were bad things that happened and not my best moments, but they helped me become who I am today and I'm pretty proud of that. So I don't really, I know it's kind of cliche to say, but I don't really have any big regrets because, you know, even the bad stuff I did, bad, bad stuff I did taught me lessons and helped me grow. So 
I'm not really, I don't really regret those then. Uh, oh, and it's a you choose Miss Art Rules. You can choose anything on the wheel. You gotta go get some rest. Okay, thank you, Kayla. All right. Brian, how goes the mission? We have almost everything now, except something to hold Bonnie's farm together. Not to worry. While performing a survey of the valley, I located the perfect thing. An extremely powerful adhesive bonding agent. According to the package, it's strong enough to repair a broken hammer. And we know how much stress those take. Wow. I didn't know we had anything like that in Dreamlight Valley. Let's see it. Here you go. It's probably tape or something. Oh, it's super glue. <laughs> Great work, Space Ranger. Anything to help Bonnie. Shall we meet again? All right, and I think the yellow daisies are down here. Oh, you want to hydrate? Thank you. Thank you, Miss Art Rules. Uh, this is a daisy, right? I always forget. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. One more of those, and we'll be all set. Yep, I think I see one right back there. Gadoosh. All right, there we go. Mother Gothel, what are you doing following me? All right. Tape, glue, same thing. <laughs> it's not the same thing, though. It's very different. <laughs> On Friday, you're going to Epcot and Hollywood Studios? Nice. I have not been to Disney World since before the pandemic, so at some point I want to go back. But I'm holding out that Bob Iger's gonna change some things before I go. <laughs> Alright, we got all the tings. Let's go talk to uh, Woody. Give him. He's so excited. Thanks for stopping by. Well done, partner. These giant yellow daisies will make a great finishing <laughs> touch to Bonnie's farm. And hey, Looks like Buzz came through for us. This glue ought to do the trick. Actually, it's an adhesive bonding agent. Very futuristic. <laughs> ah, you sound like Buzz when I first met him. Well, looks like we've got everything. Now, let's try putting it all together. I'll meet you down beside the bed once it's all built. Yeah. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. That actually looks pretty good. Are we going to have the origami elephant and Howdy, penguins get in there? Oh, so look at that. Bonnie's farm looks great. It looks so cute. <laughs> the daisies are a nice touch. My hat's off to you. Couldn't have done it without you, Brian. Now there's just one thing I, one thing left to do. When Bonnie's farm got knocked over, all her origami animals got scattered all around the room. We have to search the room and round them up. Thanks. Yep. Oh, here we go. I I know where these guys are. We had a penguin over here, right? No, I just said I knew where they were, and then I'll go to the wrong place. Oh, it's back here. Yeah, there it is. Origami penguin. There's an elephant. There's another elephant back there, but is there like a penguin back behind one of these two? Another elephant. We got two more. Do we have another elephant or another penguin? Oh, it's a turtle. So we got elephants, penguins, and turtles. Where's the last one? Oh, origami animals. Hello. Huh. I'm just missing one. Where are you? Oh, can I go up this? Whoa! Oh, is there like one up here, maybe? I feel like it's in a really obvious location, and it's kind of nuts. I haven't seen it. Um... Origami animal, where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are. Not that way. 
Oh, it's a butterfly. Right there. Oh, we got penguin. Well, we got one penguin, two elephants. I like how she puts a she puts an emphasis on elephants. I'm good with that. A turtle and a butterfly. One penguin, two pachydons, a turtle, and a butterfly. Howdy, partner. Nicely done, Brian. I'll put these on Bonnie's farm. Hey, howdy, hey. The farm looks even better than it did when Bonnie left. She's gonna be one happy kid. Why are there why is there so many penguins now? I only gave you one penguin. There's three. And I gave you two elephants. There's three. I gave you one butterfly and there's three. I gave you one turtle and only two turtles. I, I was expecting three. Where's the third turtle? What's wrong with turtles? They only get two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Say, I can't thank you enough for this, partner. You really know what being a toy is all about. What, do you spend so much time trying to make other people happy? Why don't you take a little vacation for yourself and come to my village? Buzz is already waiting for you there. Your village? Where's that? It's a place called Dreamlight Valley where... Nobody ever has to grow up. Uh -huh. Wow, that sounds pretty incredible. Uh -huh. And since Bonnie and her family aren't back from the trip yet... I suppose I could go visit. Not much for me to do around here till they get back. Great, I'll get a place set up for you in the village. Thanks. Good, y'all think that's a good Woody impression? <laughs> Thank you, I think it's terrible, but if y'all are happy with it, I'll keep doing it. <laughs> the turtles have summoned Sue and Schmertz. I mean, there's only two turtles! It's weird it happened twice! If I had a nickel for every time this happened, I would have two nickels, but it's weird it happened twice, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Did I hear that Bambi, Peter Pan, and Grinch are all getting horror movie adaptations? Yep, I don't. I don't want to waste my time with any of those. So if y'all are excited for it, more power to you. I don't. I don't care about them. All right, I guess he's going over here next to me. Um. Oh, Woody's carousel. Oh, this is way bigger. Well, it's not. Okay, it's not that big, but it is cool. He he he's gonna stay in a carousel. That's actually really cool. I like that. I think I may try to clean it up a little bit just where it is because, you know, right now this path is going a little too far. I try to have it, like, lead to his house. But, you know, I can always fix that later. Right now I just want to go as far in the story as I can. So you're looking to build a place in the village for the wee sheriff with the pull string. Hey, I think I remember him. And I've got just the thing in storage. It's an old carousel. Before the forgetting, Marlon helped Woody by putting all sorts of enchantments on it. Well, that sounds perfect. Ugh, but I'm afraid it's not a showstopper like it used to be. It's been badly damaged. It'll need some work to restore it. And with all the enhanced enchantments, well, I wouldn't know where to start. Just take it out of storage and I'll do the rest. Certainly. There will, of course, be a wee administrative fee. Of course. <laughs> Fine. But it's going to need a lot of spit and polish. Don't worry. Don't worry, though. I promise you won't regret the investment. Once you fix it up, you'll see. There's something magical about it. Oh, okay. That actually looks really cool. I mean, it looks broken down, but still cool. Welcome, Woody! Howdy, partner. All right, let's get our picture with Woody. Good. Hello. All right. Uh, could I get some help, please? <laughs> this well, look at you. That's about the quickest growth spurt I've ever seen. I guess this place is just as magical as you said. Ah, uh, you know, it's funny. Now that I've seen you so much bigger, you look kind of familiar to me, partner. This isn't the first time you've been to Dreamlight Valley. Or the first time we met. Everything's a bit foggy, but I spent a lot of time here, didn't I? A long time ago, before... Before... Before the forgetting. Don't worry, all your memories should come back in time. And thank you. Well, you are just a kid back then, weren't you? I guess you're all grown up now, huh? Well, thanks for being such a great kid. You know, I've never gotten to come right out and say that to anyone before. 
Thanks for being my toy, Woody. Oh! Oh no, you're my favorite deputy! We're totally telling him that. <laughs> and you're mine, partner. Well, I guess I ought to explore a bit. See if I can help folks out while I'm here. There's a lot to do around here. I, I can use all the help I can get. Well, you can count on me, partner. Say, maybe I can help organize a buddy system to make sure nobody gets lost. Or hold a plastic corrosion awareness meeting. <laughs> and I bet a few folks could use reminders about the dangerous events and greats. You know, I think I'm going to like this place. I suppose this must be what it feels like when someone finds a bunch of their old favorite toys in the attic. All right, let's go ahead and start his mission to fix up his house. Say, Brian, any chance you could help me? I've been trying to get, trying to be a good neighbor to the folks around here, but I've had a bit of a bump in the road. Of course, what's wrong? Well, you know me, always trying to do what's right. Yeah. And that's what I was doing, just helping my neighbors out. But it all went sideways pretty fast. First, I tried to help Remy. That didn't go too well. You did all this and you haven't left my side. You went, <laughs> I was away from you for like literally a millisecond. That didn't go too well, but then I went to help Goofy. And well, that was a downright disaster. Okay, one thing at a time. What happened with Remy? Right, well, Remy told me we, he could use some help in the kitchen. So I just dove right in, figured out how hard could it be. <laughs> Let's just say it was not good. Now Remy's got a back order of meals he needs to fill. And everybody says that when it comes to cooking, you're the best around. I don't suppose you can lend a hand. Let's go see Remy first. I'm sure it's not all that bad. Always looking on the bright side, huh? But you're right. Let's head over to Remy's. That's great. Okay. Yeah, where is... Is Remy at the restaurant or at his house? We can figure this out. We can figure this out. Where is he? Oh, he's in his house. <laughs> Woody, want to see me run to that mountain and back? Want to see me do it again? <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. Oh, my goodness. Did I do the Stitch quest yet? No, I don't know where Stitch is. Actually, yeah, we should probably go for that first. Let's see where we can find Stitch. I'm assuming if we start talking with Merlin to do his mission, we'll start doing the quest it's to get Stitch. Maui That's time. my guess. Because it's the only other new thing that I have. So where's Merlin? I should have probably checked the map before I just ran off. Oh, he's in his house. Good. That's totally fine. Yeah, I want to go for Stitch first. Sorry, this Woody. We'll help you in a little bit. You know, only you can help. Hello. Aha, Brian, there you are. You must have heard me cry out, Eureka, after my latest breakthrough. Mm. It took me days of careful research. Oh, yeah. And there was, uh, <laughs> there was one regrettable incident which I nearly turned the library into a toadstool. <laughs> but I've made quite the discovery. Tell me about it. I must say, it's quite refreshing to speak to someone who shares the thrill of discovery. I'm sure you'll recall the vital crystals you found in the mines beneath the sunlit plateau. I've long suspected that their invigorating properties might prove useful in other ways. And I've, uh, well, I, I've proven myself correct. I created special elixirs that will help you carry out your duties. There's one for your royal shovel, one for your royal pickaxe, one for your royal fishing rod. Oh, nice. What, uh, what have you got for my shovel? <laughs> oh, fine question. There's no quicker way to get to the bottom of things than with a shovel now, is there? <laughs> if you apply the miracle shovel var varnish, you'll be able to discover more treasures by digging. In the end, it was a simple enough formula. Ten vital crystals, ten pieces of dry wood, and a great deal of dream light. Cool. I could probably go make all that right now. <laughs> As you must know, there's a... <laughs> where the fastest means of clearing away your problems is with your pickaxe. And now, thanks to this miracle pickaxe polish, you can mine more gems with each swing. I'm sure Mr. Duck will be happy to hear that. How do I make it? It takes nothing more than a little ingenuity. Oh, and of course, ten vital crystals, five pieces of onyx, and a great deal of dreamlight. Okay, so I need to go get onyx. Cool. 
Ah, yes, there's nothing that caps us the thrill of discovery quite like fishing. Uh, one never knows what one might really ah. If you use this miracle fishing bait, you'll be sure to discover more in the waters around the valley than you ever had before. To make your own, you'll need ten vital crystals, five... Uh, fish five pieces of red algae and produce a great deal of dream light. Okay, so I need red algae and all that. Okay. Marvelous! I'll give you the first potions I've made. Then, if you'd like more, simply visit a crafting station and follow the instructions I've provided. Oh, and you should see what occurs if you experiment with even more ingredients. Perhaps you'll make some discoveries yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I'd surmise that the results, uh, well, they would be even more miraculous. Also, it looks like I can just keep leveling them up. That's awesome, and I love it. Okay. Oh, so that was it. So that was uh, that was the whole quest. Okay. So, um, that's not how we get uh, Stitch then. That's right. I'm Maui. Oh, it's raining. So cool. By by stuff is gonna get. Uh. Okay. So we use that. We use that. Is that this is all very underwhelming and how <laughs> it's showing up. Like I expected some like cool like Oh but look at it glow. It glows. So like if I go oh, we missed this one. Get that out of here. Oh it's a it's an orb. What's in the orb? Uh oh. Oh, this is like a memory. Is this something that we need to like? Oh, huh, huh. Those are normally like story myths. Oh, oh wait, astronomy club. Oh, oh my gosh, look at all this. Ah, yes, look at this. Oh, for those of you guys who never played the game, this is so much. <laughs> Oh, this is going to make mining so much better. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> what about this one? Every time you swing, you get something. Okay, this is mainly just rocks, but still. Man. Y'all see those gems, though? Okay. So, uh, let's see what's going on on Dazzle Beach here. It's so shiny. I know! Whoa! I don't remember seeing all, like, the little starfish and stuff pop up when I get these. Let's see if there's anything new anywhere. Hang on, let me... Characters. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, because he has a costume! The one, the one and two up there in the top right corner of his picture, because he has another costume he can be doing. <gasps> oh, Stitch! <laughs> okay, so I need to go find Stitch somehow. Um, oh, Ariel will have Ariel's got two. Oh yeah, because she's got her mermaid form and her human form, so I guess that's what counts. Mickey's got his option. Cuckoo, choo. Maybe this is one of these I don't get Stitch until I can, uh, oh wait. I don't get Stitch till I help out like Buzz and Woody and stuff. I'm guessing that's what it is. Brian, go to Dazzle Beach. Okay, I'm at Dazzle Beach. What am I doing at the beach? Is there something special to do here? That was not here before. Oh, yeah. What's this? The mystery of the soul and sucks. We got ourselves a hero. I wouldn't say that, Woody, but you can't. He just <laughs> He just <laughs> he just fell over. <laughs> Did you do that because I looked at him? He played <laughs> He just fell over. <laughs> I don't know why that made me happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you found a stocking with the initials DD sewn into the lining. Find a villager who owns the slimy stocking. I'm sure it's Donald. Where is he? Where's Donald? Where's Donald? 
What is he? Oh, Minnie's got a new quest for me. We need to still go talk to Remy. It's oh Wally. Oh yeah, we got the Wally mission. We got a lot we just unlocked. We got stuff to do, y'all. We got stuff to do. Let's see here. Where's Donald? Donald! Where are you? Oh, you're in you're in Scrooge's shop. Okay, come on. Which Remy's also there too, so we'll totally do that. All right. Let's do this. Okay. So yeah, we have both Donald and Remy in here, so we can get both done. Excuse me, but I could use a human's help. Yeah, let me talk to Donald first. Okay. Hey, Donald. I found this sock just lying on the ground. It has your initials sewn into the lining. Wow, my Donald's gotten worse. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> I don't even know you wore socks. I don't. I got me like a gift. I got a new gift to wash my dishes. Oh, it's not. It's a bite mark. It's a spit all over it. Somebody. Somebody tried to eat it. Like a little alien we know. Oh, that's stulch. Miss Art Rules, thank you. But a Christmas sweater on your character. I don't have a Christmas sweater yet. Remember, we looked. I don't have a Christmas sweater yet. Well, I didn't look in the sweaters, to be totally honest. I didn't. Uh, forgot they were separate. I can check maybe in a little bit. Why'd you find it? He was just lying on the ground. I wonder how it got there. I got exactly how it got there. I must have been stolen. Stolen right out of my house. So we have a sock thief on the loose. Yeah, I knew you'd believe me. It's not just my sock that can't believe. I saw the stuff had been disappearing from my house. And I've been seeing a bunch of funny legs streaking across the sky over the beach the last supper nights. I'm spitting all over my microphone. <laughs> funny lights in the sky. That's right. It's some kind of sock seeing UFO. I know my ears believe me. Take it, Donald, tell it time tales. I believe you, Donald, because Stitch is supposed to show up. Oh, keep playing. Me has to get to the bottom of this first. You better search around my house. This face is made of gigantic mess. There's gotta be a clue right there. Okay. Wow, he's, he's hard to keep doing for a long Hello. period of time. Brian, sorry, but if you need a special order, you'll have to wait. I'm swamped. I know what he told me about his little cooking disaster. I'm here to help. <laughs> oh, thank you. After those meals Woody's made, I, I need all the help I can get. I believed Gusteau when he said anyone can cook, but after tasting Woody's cooking, well... Let's just say that not even Anton Ego could find the words to describe those dishes. You know what? Here, taste for yourself. I don't know if I want to. What is that? Oh, they look nasty. Hope to see you soon. I, I don't want to try these. I don't want to do that. We're, we're not going to address that right now. Let's go deal with the socks. Uh. All right, let's see if I can change the Christmas sweater. What is this? Gooey paste? Salty garlic cheesecake? Oh, gosh. No. No. Oh, all of that sounds terrible. Would that be... Would that be under here? Like Christmas sweaters in this? Maybe? I don't think I have Christmas sweaters right now. I think that's something I gotta get. I don't see any there. And I don't think I have any Christmas sweaters here either. Yeah, I think we went through them all. I don't want to... This is as close as I got to Christmas stuff. Yeah, I have no Christmas sweaters right now. Yeah, I know. Okay. 
Playtime's canceled. Run for cover. <laughs> Did you hear Buzz? Playtime's canceled. Run for cover. <laughs> All right. I don't even know what to say that brown stuff looks like. I know. I didn't want to say it neither. But I think we're both thinking the same thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's raining. It's raining. Sorry, Donald. We'll be back in a second. But it's raining. I see a gold thing. If I can get some... I want some holiday fugu. Can I get some holiday fugu? Um, I discovered since I stopped... Since I quit streaming uh, this online... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, uh, Eric, 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 or Anna, Eric or Anna, one of y'all, because that's who I gave the fish things to. Eric, come here. Come here. Hurry. I want to see if this is holiday fugu. Hi. Hang out. Let's go. Come on. I don't know how to get it otherwise. Let's go. just dawned on me. I'm like, wait, it was raining. I need to go look for fugu. Especially we have holiday fugu. And I got my new special special fishing rod. I want to see how much extra fish I can get. Especially with fugu. Okay. Ah, uh, it's just regular fugu, but still... Good, got Fugu. So, that still only gets me one Fugu. Why is why is the fishing rod so special then? Why why is the fishing rod so special if it only still gets me one? How did that upgrade? Does it mean I catch rarer fish? I like that. Cause I mean that was really nice. The very first thing I fished was Fugu. Oh, fun fact, we share the same birthdays with each other. Nice! Which means we also share it with Jack Black! <laughs> I don't know why, but I love that. That we have the same birthday. Like, what if I do a not gold one? Will that, will that get me more? I just want to know what this is. Like, why is... What's so special about my fishing rod now? Because it seems to be relatively the same... I still get one. And yeah, if I have somebody with me, it gets me one. So what's so different about it? Uh, maybe it's when I'm not fishing in a normal spot, like doing this. You get like red algae. Yeah, what is this going to make different? No, I don't care about cod. But red algae. Wait, I gotta get back to the <laughs> I gotta get back to Donald's house. We got regular algae. Okay. So let's try this again. Wait, Eric. Yeah, let's uh. Yeah, let's hang out later. Okay, this is weird having you in here with me. Okay, leave. I don't think Donald asked you to be in here. All right. Oh great. I'm about to run out of energy. I don't want to go all the way back to my house. Uh, oh. We found a remote control. I think that's what it is. Ha! Wow, Google! Some sort of extraterrestrial technology. Ha! Ah, that problem! We got ourselves a whole bunch of shock TV space aliens. Get us a drop here when they were feeding my stuff. Ah! It's making a beeping sound. Wait a minute. It's beeping louder when I put it near my sock. <clears throat> Can you see that? 
can do it from the socks, then I can do it and get up. Hmm, it says something on the screen. DNA match. Authorization 33% complete. Uh, what does that mean? This is preposterous. I think it means that this thing belongs to whatever chewed on your sock. And maybe if we could find a couple more DNA samples, it would power up this weird device. Smart kitty, Brian! Let it go with me, that's right to the sock, please! Yay! I'm going to everyone right here, but I was right! I keep... Oh, I'll keep an eye out for anyone missing socks or lights uh -huh. in the sky. You might have to wait a bit. I never see the lights every few days. I'll keep that to hit you for now, and go watch the sock! Why would somebody chew on a sock? This is disgusting! Okay. So that's it for the... for the sock part. But that doesn't mean we're done with everything just yet. Double checking to see if there's any more gold spots. And yeah, I don't know what upgrades this gives me to fishing. Am I going to have sanitize my mic after the screen? Maybe. It's got this nice little cover on it now, which is nice, but yeah. Ooh. All right, well, first and foremost, we got to get back to my house and get my energy up. Buzz Lightyear. At your and also going to have Belle, but she only comes after Christmas update. Oh, yeah, we have to have Belle because uh, she's in, like, all of the main art, so she has to be. Okay. That's a very good Donald. Thank you. But oh, he's hard to keep up for a long time. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and work on Woody's mission then because I don't know where to go to find the next thing. But even then, Donald said I'd probably have to wait a couple days. So as I learned in this game, when they say that, they usually mean it. Um, why are you acting like I've never gotten seaweed? Okay, yeah, this stuff is all new. Oh, you can have even more miraculous fishing bait, even more miraculous growth elixir, even more, yeah, all of that stuff. But that's nice to know that I can get, like, updates to this often. And see how like, many times I'm allowed to do it. So that I can, like, really make all of my stuff efficient. Okay, um, yeah, so let's, let's eat this. I'm going to regret it. You didn't seem upset to eat it. Hey, I bet your first friend was a toy. Am <laughs> I right? I think my first friend didn't know how to cook. That tasted awful. Return to Remy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, he's still in, he's still in Scrooge's shop. Hello. So what'd you think of Woody's meals? Good news, I survived. Now I know what it's like to eat garbage. I don't think you could cook disappointment with a side of indigestion. <laughs> Why are these options so perfect? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I think... <laughs> I like the last one. <laughs> Woody's discovering whole new sides of the culinary arts. If there's anyone around here who can help Woody fix his disaster, it's you, Brian. Hey, maybe you'll become his gusto. Hope to see you soon. Okay. And then what? What did Remy say? He had me do a little taste test on the meals you cooked. It's so bad, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, we're doing that. Oh, yeah, laugh it up. At least I managed to entertain you. Cooking for toys is pretty simple. Everything's made of plastic, and if it looks good, it's good. But the meals did not look good, either. Well, they did look fun, so I was hoping they'd be fun to eat. Hey, you can't blame me. I'm a toy. I haven't gotten any taste buds. I can't tell if it tastes bad. Well, let me show you how it's done. Then you'll be such a good cook, you won't even need to taste the dishes. That would be great! Then we can give whatever we cook together to Remy to help him out. He's still got a lot of orders to fill. Here, these were the recipes he asked me to prepare. 
Oh, are we gonna get some of the new recipes? Do I smell rosemary? Yeah. What are the new ones we've got? Vegetarian pizza. I already know how to make that. And cheesecake. I know how to make that too. So I don't really need these. So let's get them out of my inventory. Get them out of my inventory. Do that right now. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's actually a pretty decent Woody. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all are being very kind to my Woody, and I am not. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get a vegetarian pizza. I think that's in this category. Am I having fun with the new update? Yeah. It's fun. Is this, I wish this would go just a little bit faster. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, there's the there's a the whole option up there. I could totally use just to go straight to the things that I need to cook. Oh, that that music's new. I don't remember that music. What? Yeah, if I go up here to. Oh no, go down to this one. Yeah, I just do that. Make it so much easier on myself. Oh, I think it's because I'm on the streaming safe music. But even though I didn't think those were like not safe to use musically, but I guess not. Wait, where's Remy? I, you were just here. Let me give you to meals. Okay, um, where's Remy? Remy! You're still in here? Dude, why are you shopping around? I bought almost everything in there. There's not really that much to look at. Your Woody voice is fine. It's good, Woody of Brush. No, thank you. That, that makes me feel better. You know those times you just are your own worst critic, you know? I know it's not my best voice, but I guess it's not bad. My Remy needs help. <laughs> Because I'm not really doing much for him. Whoa, did Woody cook all this? Gusto was right. Anyone can cook. Even Woody. It was a team effort, but Woody helped. Yeah. Kind of like Linguini and me. Yeah. Well, I'm sure Woody learned a lot by watching you. I hope he won't let one bad experience discourage him from trying huh. again. Thanks, Brian. Once again, you helped save my restaurant. You're the best. Au revoir. Because I'm amazing, that's why. Thanks for your help, Brian. I don't know what I would have done without you. Turns out helping villagers is more complicated than I thought. You also mentioned trying to help Goofy. What happened with that? <laughs> All right, the other disaster. Well, it'll be easier to show you. Follow me. Okay. I love how he runs. Oh, we're going down to Dazzle Beach, huh? Wait a second. Toys can't eat. You're right. He mentioned that. <laughs> Out of my way, Eric. All right. So what was this big? Where is Woody? Woody. I'm supposed to follow you to Dazzle Beach, but I beat you here. Are you trying to go to Goofy's stall? Where are you? Woody. Woody. You come this way? The storm doesn't get too bad. Why is Link weeding out in the game? He might come in later. They've already said there's a lot more games. Uh, there's a lot more characters coming that aren't in right now. So. He could definitely show up. Where is. Woody? Am I supposed to actually follow you? Where is Woody? That's why we look. Oh, he is there. He's just... I couldn't really see him. Ah, oh, there he is. Staring off into the distance. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> this is it. This is where I almost got dragged into the water by a fish. You see, after the whole cooking disaster, I decided to try something simpler. Like home delivery. Thank you, lover, for subscribing to the channel. 
Gooby was organizing a dinner with friends. He wanted to make crispy cod, and so he needed cod and wheat. Turns out herding fish is way harder than herding toy cattle. I cast my line out, and before I knew it, I was water skiing behind a cod. You can herd fish with a net, you know. You can't herd fish. They travel in schools. <laughs> Sounds like you invented a fish rodeo. I like that. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, that was pretty much what I did. So I guess we ought to fish some cod for Goofy. Did you get him the wheat? <sighs> Have you seen the size of those plants? They're twice as big as I am. I couldn't harvest any and carry them. Now Goofy hasn't got anything to make dinner with. If we don't get all this to him soon, don't worry. I'll show you how it's done. Let's get Goofy his cod and wheat. I already have cod and I've got wheat easy to get. I have to catch the cod right now. Of course I do. Even though I've got two in here, that doesn't count. I have to catch them right now. Uh, what does a perfect day look like for you? Uh, I don't know. I never really thought about that. Uh, a perfect day is less about like what I'm doing and more about like my emotions that I'm feeling that day. And if I'm feeling really great, I'm excited to do the things I'm doing. Then yeah, that's a that's a perfect day. And spin the wheel. Woody got taken by a chicken man. <laughs> uh, oh, you choose. You can choose anything on the wheel. I feel like somebody else got that earlier and they missed their request. Ah, dadgummit. If you're still here, ooh. Okay, look, we got lots of seaweed. I'm gonna make all the fiber. <laughs> all right, um, I think that's all of them. So whoever redeemed that earlier and I did not get your if I did not get your request, I'm very sorry. Send it again and I shall do it. What about a day at the beach? Eh. I'm not against a day at the beach, but that's also not what I would consider like my best day ever or anything. Let's see. Ooh, Steamboat Willie. I can't whistle right now. <laughs> okay, so we got all the cod. And I don't want to go plant weed if I don't have to, so I'm going to see if Wally has some in his garden. If not, eh, I'll do it. Wheat grows really fast. Otherwise, I'm, I'll see if I can go just get it out of my storage. I've got, like... 200. I got 100 pieces in storage. Let's see if it'll let me. Um, any wheat? I think that's wheat. No, oh, that's corn. Uh, no, he has no wheat. Okay. I'll see if I can go grab some just from my house. I don't want to have to go, like, plant it and grow it and do all that. I will if I have to, though. Not a fan of the beach. Too much sand is rough and coarse. It gets everywhere. I know what you're alluding to. I hate sand. It's so coarse and rough and gets everywhere. <laughs> I'm not against the beach. I love going to the beach. But I wouldn't say that's like my perfect day. I'd be like, eh. It's like, if everyone else wants to go, I'm more than happy to go. But I'm also just as happy staying home. Um, Yeah, let's see if I can just bring over three pieces. Haha, <laughs> it worked. I don't want to go through all the process of doing that when I already have it all. All right, where's Woody? Woody! Woody, where you at, boy? You're not Woody. You're my festive fox pal. Here you are. Ah, get back here, Woody. Excuse me. Uh, could you come here for a second? Oh, wait, no. Okay, yeah, Thanks for there stopping we go. By. Well, those cod are huge. No wonder I couldn't catch any of them on my own. I don't think I'm going to be able to carry all those to Goofy. Not unless you got some kind of wagon I can use. How about you take a break while I carry all this to Goofy? I'll meet you at the carousel after. Sure, Brian. I really appreciate the help. So long, partner. Okay, we bring the ingredients to Goofy. And where is Goofy? Oh, he's over here. And Minnie's got something to talk to. So I'll go talk to her. You want Bob Ross and Drac? Alright, so we're going to draw a happy little tree. 
I built it for three over here, remember? There are only happy accidents and I do not say blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now we're trying to chase after Goofy. Goofy, stop running. Stop running and talk to me. It is important to not run from my problems, but to talk about them straight up. And also my problem is, uh, there's not enough rooms at my hotel. Hey there! Gosh, Brian, this is exactly what I need to make my dinner tonight. Thanks, pal. How'd you know? Don't thank me. Thank Woody. I did the fishing and harvesting, but he, uh, supervised. Well, I appreciate it. I was getting kind of worried. I wouldn't be able to serve my guest crispy cod. Well, you two sure came through for me. Well, I'll have to invite you and Woody over sometime soon. Thanks again. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Meet Woody at the carousel. Is he here? Oh, there he is. Oh, we can go inside the carousel. What? Okay, this is kind of cool. Wait, why can't I break any of this? I can just break all this with Donald. I guess I can't break it in here yet. Maybe I have to, like, do something to fix it up. Or maybe going to a farm. I don't know if I'd say going to a farm is my perfect day. It reminds me too much of the ranch that my parents own. And not that I dislike going. But I don't know if I'd say that's, like, my perfect day. Boy, am I glad to see Looks you. like you saved the day, partner. Who knew fishing and harvesting crops could be so dangerous? Uh, I don't know what to do now. I really want to help out, but the valley's a lot bigger and more complicated than a kid's room. No one can be great at everything. I know, it's just... I'm so good at helping my fellow toys and making kids happy. I wish I were better at all this. Uh... Rachy Tickler, thank you. And Bar Potts, thank you for subscribing. Say, instead of you trying to help everyone else, why don't I help you? Is there anything you need? Well, now that you mention it, yeah. There's my carousel Mr. McDuck dragged out of storage for me. I've been wondering about it. I know it's got horses and the whole western motif, but it seems kind of a funny place for me to live, doesn't it? I thought I would have been more comfortable in a nice ranch place set or a sheriff office made out of cardboard. Mr. McDuck said there was something special about it, something magical. Yeah. Huh. Well, if there's something special about it, I can't remember what, and it sure has seen better days. Take a look. There's a bunch of piles of junk inside. I tried to clear them out myself, but they're too big for me. I'll be cleaning up the carousel. Maybe we can figure out what's so special about it and get it started. Thanks. Ah, so now we get to go in there and fix it. Your parents own a ranch. That's awesome. I mean, it does have its perks, and it's kind of cool. So, like, every time I go out to Texas, I, you know, help them take care of the cattle, and I get to hang out with the donkeys for a little bit. And, you know, it's cool in and of itself. But, you know... And it's like, yeah, we're, we're far away, and it's nice and quiet and everything, but it's also like... I kind of like being near where everything is, and I don't kind of like being in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but my parents love it, so more power to them. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's a cool memory. I'm sure we got to go talk to Woody. Oh, he fell on the floor again. <laughs> hey, now I remember this carousel used to be one of the nicest places in the village. Uh -huh. If anyone was feeling sad, they could always look at the lights, and they'd feel better. It made you feel like a kid again just for a few minutes. That's it, Brian. This is what I need to do. I'll restore the carousel, and that'll help everyone in the valley. Gotta say, it sure is nice to have a purpose around here. You don't need to have a purpose, you know. We love your company. Just being here is enough. Well, that's kind of you to say, but I'm feeling pretty good about this idea. Thanks for helping me find this, uh, help me find this project. I just need some time to make a list of what needs to be fixed. I'll tell you when I'm ready to start working on it. This is gonna be great! Yeehaw! Failing better. I like the name of that. Okay. Oh, wait till I tell Slink about this place. You're <laughs> not gonna believe me. Oh, I like him talking about Slink. Yep. Oh, yeah. We've we've reached wow, the end of our time for this episode. Really um, but I do think I want to come back and do another stream of this since we still haven't gotten Stitch. There's still plenty of other stuff we can keep doing. Like there's a there's a quest with Wally that we can go start that just kind of got started. We can just start one with Minnie. 
we got to get both of y'all to another level. But, yeah, we can start going through some of this stuff. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll be fun. So, uh, i got to figure out when we're going to be able to do this. I'm going to say we're going to do another stream of this next week. And maybe I'm trying to think if I can do one Thursday because I don't want to wait that long to do more of this. I need to look at my schedule. My schedule. Because, I mean, yeah, if we do that, we could have a stream every day this week. Woo. We can do this tomorrow? We can, but I already promised the Mario people that we would be doing that on Wednesday. But most of y'all are the Mario people. <laughs> Gotta wait more than one day to get Stitch. Okay. You could do a poll. I could do a poll. I could do that. I know not everyone from Mario is here, and I know a lot of people here are not from the Mario group. So, sure, I'll do a poll with y'all, and we'll figure out uh, what we want. But, anyways, we're done with this for now, so I can go to this screen. Um, yeah, let's do a poll. Start a poll. <laughs> Wednesday stream. Well, see, that's the thing, though. If y'all say I'm going to have to wait more than a day for Stitch, when we come tomorrow, oh, no, I'm sure we can do a lot of stuff with Buzz and Woody even without Stitch. So we still do more. Okay. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> Do a stream every day this week? Yes. Um, maybe. We'll see. Um, let me go ahead and do this. For Wednesday stream, do you guys want Disney Dreamlight Valley or Super Mario 64? I just put their abbreviations. So DDV is Dreamlight Valley. SM64 is Super Mario 64. So here we go. What do y'all think? What should Wednesday stream be? Well, tomorrow's stream. What should tomorrow's stream be? Should it be Disney Dream Live Valley or should it be Super Mario 64? You tell me. Oh, it's 50 50 right now. Someone's gonna pull ahead. But which one? Oh, wow. It is still 50 50. Oh, oh. Super Mario came out just ahead by 1%. Woo. Oh, oh, oh. Mario's coming up by another percent. Oh, Dream My Valley came out, and it's got it's got fifty two percent now. Woo! It's getting no. This is this is close, y'all. It's close, y'all. Oh, Dream My Valley is taking over. Fifty four percent of the vote has gone to Dream White Valley. Can Super Mario sixty four pull it out? We'll see. Took me to realize DDV was Disney Dream White Valley. Yeah, I tried to mention that, but I don't think it got done fast enough yeah ddd is disney dream live valley sm64 is super mario 64 i just didn't want to write them all out because that would have taken me a while <laughs> okay disney dream live valley is at 58 percent of the vote now You can now hang out with Ariel? Good. Oh my gosh. I need another fishing friend. So I'm going to make her a fishing friend now. <laughs> Although that feels weird now that I think about it. No, you, she's going to help me with shoveling. I don't have many people for that. Or or the, the pickaxe. I can have Buzz or Woody help me with fishing. Buzz is now a level 10. Time to... How... The... Buzz is not a level 10, is he? Is he? There's no way Buzz is at level 10. Where am I? Oh, yeah, here I am. Oh, I think on your game. I was about to say, Buzz is not a level 10 on my game. I haven't done anything with him yet. 
I think he's like not even a level one. Or he is level one. Where's Buzz? Yeah, because I still have a mini mission and a Wally mission. Where's Buzz? Oh, he's in his house. And I'm right here by it too. Sunshine, check. All right, everyone, let's enjoy ourselves a great day. Greetings. I am Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, he's. I haven't done anything with him yet. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. Well, I don't see anybody adding any more votes, so it looks like we're doing another Disney Dreamlight Valley tomorrow. But. If I can finagle it, let me see what I can do with Thursday. I know I've got something that I've got to do on Thursday. Depending on when that gets done, I think I should have enough time. Maybe we can do another stream on Thursday, and that would be Mario 64. So that's what we got. Yeah. Why not? Uh, we might do Mario tomorrow and Dreamlight Valley Thursday. Yeah, I'm trying to see what to do with that. Because I do have something on Thursday, but I think that should be done in time. Do I have enough time to do that and work on other things? I think I do. Hmm. Well, you guys have already voted. We did the vote, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Tomorrow's going to be Disney Dream My Valley. And then, tentatively, we're going to have a Thursday stream with Mario 64. And then we'll do our normal hangout on Friday. And then next week... Next week is my last week before my holiday hiatus. So I want to make sure I finish everything that I can with the Disney Dreamlight Valley update that I can before the break. Because, um, yeah, this next week that we have um, is my last week of streaming before I take off for the rest of the year. And I won't be coming on again until 2023. So it's going to be about two weeks of no Brian. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm taking about two weeks off for holidays. So, I'm gonna, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. My tentative plan right now is to have Dreamlight Valley tomorrow, the Super Mario 64 on Thursday, and then a stream Friday. And then next week, a Super Mario 64 on Monday, Disney Dreamlight Valley on Tuesday, um, a Super Mario 64 on Wednesday, and then uh, hang out on Friday, on Thursday. So we're going to be doing a lot of streams. <laughs> Whew! Or maybe... I'll, we'll figure out next week's. Next week's, I know I can't do Friday. So it's going to be... I have to check and make sure the mods are okay. Wait, so no members chat? No, we're still going to do that. I'm actually going to make a community post about that right after this stream. Uh, no, to me, uh, we'll have the members only chat on Sunday. This coming Sunday. And then uh, the following... Oh, I see what you're talking about. But I said I'm not doing any more for the rest of December. Um, yeah. So, yeah, what we're probably going to have to do is we're probably going to have to do two in... Oh. Yeah, see, that's what my plan was going to be. My plan was going to be, I didn't look at December well enough. My plan was like, okay, one of the Sundays before I leave, we'll do a members only chat. And then one of the ones when I get back before January. And then I realized, oh, there's not one before January. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, we'll do two in January. So I'm thinking probably the 8th and the 22nd of January, probably. We'll do that. And so there will be one this coming Sunday, and I will make a note about that on that so we can start talking about it. Oh, I still have the poll up. <laughs> Sorry, we're ending the poll. Disney Dream by Valley 1. <laughs> All right.
What time do I normally start my live streams? At 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's when they normally start. Uh, unless it's a live stream hangout, those are only an hour, so they start at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, yes. Um, that's that. So, I'm going to go make a note on the community tab with the members only. So, we can start working that out. Um, it'll be this coming Sunday. We'll get that one, and then we'll do two in January to make up for the one we missed in November. And, uh, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. I thought I was going to be able to do both in December, but it's looking like it's not going to happen. I thought I had another Sunday after I got back, but I do not. So, that's the plan. But I thought there was going to be two to make up for the loss last month. Yes, I apologize. Um, I thought I had it worked out in my head where that would work. So, we're doing two in January instead. Just... December and December and November are always hard because I have to take out so much time for holidays because I have to travel and I have to plan all that stuff out and it makes work very difficult so that's why you normally don't get as many videos and as many streams in November and December because they're just hard to get right uh, but yes looking like we're going to do a stream every day this week and then every day next week except for Friday and then I take a two week hiatus and then we're back in January we're going to do uh, members only this coming Sunday and then January, we'll do two. I'm going to tentatively say that January 8th and January 22nd are probably going to be whenever we do those. Um, that's my plan. So, okay. There we go. So, that's the plan. That's the plan, Stans. Are we good with that? Okay. So, thank you guys so much for coming on. I hope you guys enjoyed. We will have another stream tomorrow with uh, more Disney Dream Light Valley. See how well I can do. I'm gonna see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if we can't. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can't do at least something off camera to help the streams go a little bit faster with Disney Dreamlight Valley tomorrow. I don't want to do too much without y'all, but I do want to go through and like try to mine some Onyx and see if I can upgrade my pickaxe and stuff a little bit more. And uh, I won't do any of the mission quests and stuff. I'll just, like, go uh, do some stuff. Okay. So, I think that's the plan. So, tomorrow, more Disney Dream My Valley. Thursday, we do more Super Mario 64. Friday, we get our hangout. This Sunday, it's the members-only live stream. Then, Monday, Tuesday. No, Monday is going to be Super Mario 64. Tuesday, Disney Dream My Valley, if we still need more. Wednesday, Super Mario 64, then Thursday, live stream hangout, and then we're done until January. Okay. Cool. We have our plan. Christian, thank you for renewing your biblical Yes. Okay. All right. So I've set my plan like three times. I think we're good. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you tomorrow for more Disney Dream My Valley, and have a great night. Bye.